This is without question the most repulsive, stomach-turning bile I saw pumped out by our communist left on the 4th of July. It's so nauseating. I hate to even put it into your feed, but you must know what we are fighting against. You have to know how these communists bamboozled you and your country and your corporations that you keep giving money to. You must know what they stand for. You have to have these things surfaced. You must see it with your own two eyes. So I'm going to show it to you. This is what Black Lives Matter Incorporated, BLM, stands for their email on the 4th of July. The 4th of July email sent on the 4th of July is such an insult to you and your country. It shows what dirty communists these people actually are and how they are only here to sow division and fury and rage about this country. They are here to tear our country down to pieces and they must be stricken from our political conversation and our political landscape. They are evil operators. Let me read you their fundraising email. Benny, why are you on the Black Lives Matter fundraising email. Do you donate to BLM? No, you can actually sign up and see what they are saying. And it's the most important way to see an insight into their organization because I'm not James O'Keefe. Would be great to have a whistleblower. There's plenty of people who've actually come out against the group in recent days. Maybe that's what's leading to them to be send, send such paranoid and grotesque fundraising emails, but here we are. We have the fundraising email sent on the 4th of July, uh, and it is an insight into their movement, what they believe, and how they are trying to fundraise. Really, that is the key insight into what an organization is, is how they try to collect money. So here we go. The subject of the email says, this celebration is a sham. Okay, on the 4th of July, the celebration is a sham. They start with Frederick Douglass quote from 1852 and enter the email. Benny, independent state of Frederick Douglass and to black people across the entire country is a day that reveals the gross injustices that black people have been forced to grapple with since this country's founding. Oh, by the way, this country being the country where black Americans, where black people have the highest standard of living and make the most money in the world, by the way, in the world, by the way, just letting you know, black people are treated better and have better lives in America than anywhere else on the freaking planet. That is backed up by hard data. There is more liberty and freedom and equality here for all people from everywhere because we are a Christian nation founded on Christian principles. And indeed, we aspire to those principles and own those principles as we mature as a country. Again, we're not even 250 years old as a country. Idiots. Let's continue. America has not lived up to its principles of freedom for everyone. Wrong. False. False. And let me state for the record, if you're looking for a country that wasn't involved in evils, mass evils throughout the centuries, who, man, rewind the clock back 250 years to before America was a country. Again, 250 years before America existed. And go ahead and look at what the European powers and what the Asian powers and what the powers that be across Central Europe were doing to the world and how they were carving up the world and what they were carving it up for. I'll let you guys do your own history on that, okay? So don't you dare say this in this singular lens that America is this imperfect country and the worst country on earth. No, I'm sorry. Modern day slavery actually exists today. Concentration camps exist today in communist China where your damn iPhone comes from. So stop it with the gas lighting jackasses. Okay, here we go. America has never lived up to the principles of freedom for everyone. It never has. It never has. It never has. I'll, I'll, I could stop every sentence here, but I'll continue. It's been us fighting for our own freedoms and liberation. Until it's fully realized and achieved, we will continue doing all we can to be liberated. Wait a second. I'm sorry. There are 500,000 dead Americans who fought in a civil war against their own brethren. The vast majority of them, I mean the vast majority of them, were white people fighting for the freedom of black people in this country. You, uh, you, mm, you, you desecrate their graves and their sacrifice doing that. There was a civil war in this country. The purpose of that civil war was the 
continuing the unity of this nation by eliminating slavery. That was the cudgel, that was the crutch, and oh, by the way, a large portion of the Continental Congress and this nation's founding wanted to eliminate slavery in its founding documents. There's a long history there, but that was a huge push at the Continental Congress and in the founding of this country. Indeed, it was woven into directly our Declaration of Independence, which is the most pure American document. So shut up! Gosh, you people, you have such a lack of an understanding of the sacrifices that were made on your behalf hundreds, a hundred and fifty years ago in the Civil War for people to leave their families and their homes and their peace and go out and fight, fight for people that didn't look like them, that weren't even considered Americans at that time, and to liberate them. What a beautiful thing. What an incredible thing that this country has done. I am so proud of this country and the people who fought in the Civil War and shame on you for desecrating their legacies. Gosh, it's so irritating. I'll continue. <sighs> Today we're uplisting Frederick Douglass, blah, blah, blah. It's, it has a link to an NPR piece. I'm not going to go there. Um, Benny, nobody is free until everybody is free. Okay, why don't you show me to a place where you're not free? I'm not joking. Show me to a place where you're not free. I can show you... You know, I can show you segregation that is happening in the opposite direction where white people are being excluded from classrooms and from graduations and from various places in finance. I can show you the opposite. I continue. By any means necessary, we will be liberated. We will be free. We have to have cookouts, free to ride in our cars and our bikes, freedom to go to the pool. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean freedom to go to the pool? Show me a pool right now that is segregated in this country. Show me. Show, give me a single example. I want to see it. And if you can show me a segregated pool that's like whites only, I will personally go there and help you protest. Personally. Do it. I want to see it. I want to see it. I can show you some senators who are Democrats, who are part of all white clubs. Maybe you should go ask them. The name is Sheldon Whitehouse. Democrat senator from Rhode Island. I digress. I digress. I continue reading the last of the email. Freedom to go to the pool. Freedom to go on runs. Freedom to have joy. Freedom to live. Freedom to matter. In love and solidarity, Black Lives Matter Global Network. Okay, let me end it with this. Freedom to matter. All right. Well, listen, guys. The number one way that black life is taken in this country is not police officers. In fact... Far more unarmed white people are killed by police officers than unarmed black people in this country. Statistics, go check it out. But I can tell you this, there is a genocide going on right now in this country of black people and it comes through abortion. And their lives do matter indeed. I believe their lives matter. I know their lives matter. I am a Christian. Their lives matter. The white children, the Hispanic children, the black children, all of their lives matter. I believe you, I agree with you on this point, that your lives matter, so let's join together and stop the practice of abortion in this country. How about that? Hmm? How about that? That has taken the lives of some odd 30 million African American or Black American in the last 40 years since abortion was made legal, 40 to 50 years since Roe v. Wade. Those are the numbers. Maybe they are much larger than that, but those are the official numbers. Yep. Okay, so if you believe your lives matter, if you really do want joy and happiness, which you say you want, and to be able to go to cookouts and to ride your bike and to go on runs and to be liberated, well, then let's all go fight abortion together because that is by, like far and away, far and away, the largest taker of black life in this country. Fair? I'm pro-life. That means I'm more in favor of black lives than you if you're pro-abortion. But no, no. You'll see BLM partner with Plan, uh, Planned Parenthood. You'll see BM, BLM partner because they have... This is all... All of this is about a singular thing. A singular thing. Power. The more that they rag on America, that is the mechanism for power. This kind of an email, which is such a grotesque thing to send out on America's birthday... America, again, the nation with the highest amount of wealth for black people in the world, the highest quality of life for black people in the world, a country that fought a civil war to liberate black people, 
when so many other nations, so many other nations did not do that. You'll have to show me another nation that did that. No, no, sorry guys. No, this entire thing is pseudo history garbage, but it's only put out because people get power out of ragging on this country. And we need to change that. We need to change that immediately. It cannot be that you are granted power in this country by hating America. This comes viscerally from corporations, it comes from culture, and it comes from the communists. And so we must stop that vicious cycle. It's evil, it's wrong. But guys, that is the most repulsive thing, thing that I saw. Obviously, Maxine Waters sent some insane tweets. Some other people said some horrible stuff about America on the 4th of July. You cannot have a multiracial, multi-ethnic, melting pot republic of ours if you have race hatred, if you have class race hatred and race war. You can't have it. It won't fall. It won't stand. It will fall. And you won't like what over the hill coming for you. Just go ahead and check out how ethnic minorities are treated in communist China. Go do your own research. That's another video. That's the worst thing I saw on the 4th of July. Forget these communists. Get rid of these Marxists. Be done. These Marxists and these communists have no place in our society. They have no place in our thought. They should not be effectuating policy, obviously. And this all, to all of you people, to all you woke people who donated to BLM, this is what you donated to. To Mitt Romney who marched with BLM, this is what you marched with. Shame on all of you. Shame on all of you. Open your eyes, see what this is all about. It's all about power and the destruction of this country, and we must fight it.